Today we're gonna to simplify competition grilled chicken legs. These grilled chicken legs will plate up great for judges or for your family at home. While we're grilling chicken legs today, we're gonna to be setting up the Weber for an indirect cook. We'll be starting with a charcoal base and then layering in the pecan wood to give those competition chicken legs all the flavor they need. Greg, a lot of people cook chicken legs. What can we do to not have plain, boring grilled chicken legs? Make sure you follow our tips for seasoning your chicken legs to perfection. While these grilled chicken legs are gonna be delicious, you gotta make sure you add what? Layers of flavor. That's it, baby. All right, Greg, we said we're gonna be setting up our Weber for an integrate cook. We've got two bricks so we can section off the grill. This will be our hot zone and the zone that we're cooking in. We talked about setting up a good charcoal base for our wood fire. We got some lump charcoal here. We're gonna load this grill down with lots of pecan. Mm. I like your little makeshift divider there. It's pretty, it's pretty slick, Joe. Yep. Once we got a good coal bed here, Greg, we'll be ready to cook those competition grilled chicken legs. The first step to grilling chicken legs. You wanna make sure that you pick your chicken legs where they're nice and uniform, that way they cook evenly. You have some that are super fat and then some that are super skinny, they'll cook uneven. But you wanna go ahead and pat these guys dry. Just like so. Just like so. Just like so. What is so? Who knows? One thing we did for these grilled chicken drumsticks is we pulled these out of the fridge about 30 to 45 minutes before we're ready to cook gonna let them come up towards room temperature and we're not throwing ice cold chicken on the Weber. All right, so we have our chicken legs that we're about to grill on this uh, on this Weber grill. And we're gonna show you how to do competition today. And what you wanna do is you wanna start out with taking the chicken legs and you wanna pull the skin back off of them. This is why this is perfect for Bluff City Grub because we're all about layers of flavor. So we're about to show you how to get this flavor in this chicken. But you wanna pull the chicken skin all the way back and roll it over without tearing it, but just roll it back from the bottom of the chicken. Just like that. All the way back. Just like that. Beautiful. This is gonna be one of the best tips I'm gonna give you today for cooking chicken drumsticks for competition or at home. There is a tendon on both sides of there. You see that big white portion right there? What you wanna do is you wanna take your knife and go right under it Come back to the back of the chicken leg, pop that out just like that. You see that? You don't want that. That's really, really tough. No judge is going to want that in their no box. No judge is going to want that. So you just want to cut that out. No family member is going to want that, Greg. Yep. But we serve them all the time. People all the time cook chicken legs. They throw them right on the grill. And they really could do a whole lot better by just taking the time to cut these tendons out. Here's your other one here. Get right under it. Roll it back. We're taking this time here, Greg, is really gonna set these chicken legs apart from anything we've done on Blood City. Yeah, it's gonna make it really tender. And there we go, two tendons out. And we're gonna do that to all the chicken. Yep, you can find this recipe in the description below. We've pulled back all the chicken skins and we're ready to get our first layer on. No need to go heavy with this layer. Go ahead and roll these guys over. Notice that we have the chicken skins all pulled all the way down to the edge of the uh, edge of the chicken here. Chicken skirts. Roll these over. Get the other side. One more time. Just another light coat right there on top. Perfect. All right. So after we got our first layer of seasoning on here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chicken skin and we're gonna roll it back up on top of it. Pretty much putting the chicken's clothes back on. Just pull that skin right back over the top. And of course, we're doing this for competition. We're gonna make some really good looking, 
pretty chicken. So just kind of make sure you form up the chicken skin and stretch it out as far as possible, just like that, over the chicken leg. It's gonna make for some great grilled chicken legs. So we have our chicken skin pulled back over the chicken here. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with our second layer of flavor right here on top. More of that Bluff City Rub, because you want it to spread evenly, and look really presentable for your judges or your guests coming over for dinner. Okay, so we have the top of it seasoned. You could use your favorite rub if you like. We just like our Bluff City Rub. It gives a really good flavor and color to it, but use whatever you like. Now we have our, our top of our chicken season. Normally we season the back half and then do top side up, but I really don't want to mess up this beautiful chicken skin that we have here. So one tip that I'm going to give you to season the back half of it is we're going to season the bottom of the pan, all right? So get some of your rub and just hit the bottom of the pan with a little bit of your rub to coat the back half of the chicken. All right, let's go ahead and put this chicken in this pan. You want to do them crisscross ways to make sure they fit just like shoes on the shoe box. Just like that. All right, so we got one guy left over here to the side. That's fine, he'll be our test dummy. We're gonna throw him on a grill direct, see how he turns out later. But this pan is, uh, it's not too full, it's perfectly uniform. We're gonna go ahead and put our butter right here on the sides. Let's put your butter on the sides. We're gonna let that melt and run right up in the chicken. Let's get these guys on the grill. I got you, buddy. All right, we're going for an indirect cook, so we want to put this over the side that doesn't have the fire on it. And we'll throw a little guy over here off to the side, see how he turns out. Test dummy. Let's mind you. I always look good. All right, we got our Weber set up for an indirect cook. We'll be cooking somewhere around 275 to 300 for about two hours. Right, we've been cooking here for about one hour, between 275 and 300. We're ready to take a look at these grilled chicken legs. All right, we're gonna add one more layer of flavor. Yep. Got a little butter here in the bottom. Just gonna use that to baste. Get a little tilt up there, buddy. There you go, appreciate that, Greg. This is gonna give us that deep color we're looking for and these flavorful grilled chicken drumsticks. Just gonna hit it with one more layer of seasoning. I forgot about your, 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 your leg, Greg. Well, that guy's looking good. Our grilled chicken drumsticks are finishing up on the Weber. And then we're gonna make a little glaze here to put on them. One of the ones we like here is meat, Mitch Naked. Of course, you're welcome to use your favorite barbecue sauce. And we're gonna thin it out here with a little red wine vinegar. You're welcome to use apple juice or apple cider vinegar. The reason we're using a mason jar is this is great to dip our grilled chicken legs in. We're gonna go about three parts sauce, one part vinegar. All right, we're just gonna mix this up. All right, we've been grilling these chicken drumsticks here for about two hours, somewhere between 275 and 300. Of course, we're checking for... All right, Greg, one thing we're looking for is about 180, 185. And it looks like these chicken legs are just right where we want them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull these and get these glazed set. All right, Greg, we're down to our last step on these chicken legs. The reason we use this mason jar is so we can just dip them right in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are going to be beautiful. Maybe a little full. This is exactly how we want our competition legs to look. Now, Greg, we're going to take care of yours. He didn't turn out so good sitting over there by himself. Sorry, he's just right for me, Joe. He's going to come back and touch up anything we don't like. Those are looking perfect. Greg, we've cooked, we've seasoned, we've re-seasoned, we've glazed, and mm -hmm. these chicken legs are ready. 
Got that consistent color we're looking for. That's a pretty color, man. Beautiful color. Family's gonna love these. And you can really see, Greg, what a difference it makes having them in this pan. Yours is just, uh, his little skirts rolled back. It's all right. Her little skirts rolled back a little bit. We're gonna take care of them. Look, the only thing we're missing here is just one more layer of flavor. Oh, just a light dusting. Box those up, set them in for the judges. And yeah, we'll let these rest here for about 10 minutes. We'll serve them to the family. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Today we're about to complicate <laughs> cooking chicken legs on a whipping. Why would you do that? <laughs>